The striking story of Marianne Bachmeier, who took revenge on her daughter's murderer by shooting him in the middle of the court. Marianne Bachmeier entered the courthouse with an emotionless expression on her face and a gun loaded with bullets. He had a vengeful mission. He grabbed his gun in the courtroom and shot his daughter's killer. As the man lay on the ground, one word came out of Marianne's mouth. Pig. Marianne, who was also a rape victim, wanted to avenge her little daughter's death with her own hands. The story of Marianne and her daughter Anna shook the media of the time. Those who wanted to cover the event came to Lübeck in droves from different cities. Here is one of the most impressive examples of vigilante justice in history, with people wondering, guilty or not guilty? The controversial story of Marianne Bachmeier and her innocent daughter. Marianne was raped when she was still a child. Marianne Bachmeier became a mother when she was only 16 years old. At 18, she got pregnant again from her boyfriend. Shortly before the birth of her second daughter, she was raped at a disco. The bad course of his life began with this incident. Marianne's psychology deteriorated, and both of her children were given up for adoption shortly after their birth. In 1973, his third daughter Anna was born. He raised Anna himself, but was sterilized after birth. Seven-year-old Anna met her murderer on the way to visit her friend. On May 5, 1980, seven-year-old Anna had a disagreement with her mother and went to her friend's house instead of going to school. Unfortunately, he would meet his murderer along the way. Butcher Klaus Grabowski, 35, had a long criminal record, including sexual offenses against girls. He had been castrated for his past crimes and later received hormone therapy in an attempt to reverse the castration. He said the little girl threatened him, Grabowski, who was arrested upon notice from his fiancée. He said that he did not intend to sexually harass Anna and that the little girl warned him, If you don't give me money, I will complain about you to my mother. He made a rather ridiculous statement, saying that he had provoked and threatened me. According to the prosecutor, he kept the little girl at home for hours, then tied her tightly with tights, put her in a box, and then left her somewhere on the bank of the canal. Wanting to avenge her daughter's death, the mother managed to kill the murderer by putting a gun into the courthouse. On March 6, 1981, the third day of the trial, Marianne Bachmeier smuggled a Beretta M1934 gun into the Lübeck District Court. He entered the half-full hall and waited with his hands in his pockets. When he had the right time, he shot his daughter's murderer eight times in the back. Seven of the shots hit, and the 35-year-old defendant died instantly. In the panic in the room, the following word came out of Marianne's mouth. Pig. I did it for you, Anna. A doctor who examined the grieving mother after the incident said that when he asked Bachmeier for a handwriting sample, he wrote, I did it for you, Anna, on the paper and decorated it with seven hearts, perhaps one for each year of Anna's life. The majority of people stood by your mother for her crime. Bachmeier's lawyers argued that the woman was under severe emotional stress and was not responsible for her actions at the time. He was sentenced to prison for his efforts to achieve justice with his own hands. On November 2, 1982, Marianne Bachmeier was first charged with murder in court. The prosecution later dropped the murder charge. After 28 days of negotiations, the board accepted the decision. On 2nd on March 1983, four months after the proceedings began, he was convicted of manslaughter by the circuit court of the Lübeck District Court and sentenced to six years' imprisonment for unlawful possession of a fear arm. Mother and daughter were buried in the same grave and their names were written on a single tombstone. After serving three years, Bachmeier was released early from prison due to suicide risk. On September 21, 1995, he was a guest on the program called Flasia on das Erste TV channel. She said her daughter shot the alleged killer to prevent him from spreading more lies about Anna. 
He died of pancreatic cancer in a hospital in Lübeck on September 17, 1996, at the age of 46. He was buried in the same grave with his daughter Anna in a cemetery in Lübeck, and their names were written on a single tombstone.